So part two of this is relating to that motion. Okay? The regardless of pitch location, low body should be consistent. Okay? So your low body is always consistent on how to take that timing. When you take a timing, it's not coming from upper body. It's actually coming a lot from the lower body. Okay? So you have to have that sequential pattern the exact same way. So you can carry that power no matter where the pitch location is. Okay? And then, when you actually look at the coaches, okay, working with the baseball players, oftentimes, especially in a junior level, you try to get the hands out of you very quickly. So they practice so much just on the hands to get here. But your hands is actually the last one to come through. So going back to this graph, you have from lower body to trunk to arm, right? The reason why the arm has to be the last one to come through is if your hand is leaving behind here, let's say you're waiting for fastball, fastball, and then all of a sudden change up comes through, your hand is still here. So you can adjust with your upper body. But if your hand is up front initially and then the change up comes, there's no way to catch up. So you have to have your hands at last. That's why it has to be very important to have that low extremity rotation and then kinetic chain sequence to get to your hand at the last.